Hello, Family Church. I'm joining you from a couple states away in order to ask you to join me in something. Uh, I personally, and I know I'm not alone, have been deeply saddened by the events in our country over the past several weeks. And I've been praying about what the next steps might be. You know, a 2012 survey, one done four years ago, revealed that most evangelical Christians, most Christians, that is, in America, believe that the best way to deal with racial relations is to not talk about it, to, to not say anything. And, and so what we've seen in our country over the past few weeks is that really not talking about this has not helped. In fact, it might even be making matters worse. Four months ago, a team of us here at the Family Church started meeting together and praying together for the specific purpose of trying to really work on healing racial relations, both in our church and in our city. And God put this on our hearts, and quite frankly, God put it on all of our hearts as a church last year when we met together in 10 differing town hall meetings to really talk about the purpose of our church. And the two overwhelming mandates out of those 10 town hall meetings were number one, we need to be making intentional, intentionally making disciples. And secondly, we want to be a multiracial church and to do it well. And so in order to do that well, which is something God has put on all of our hearts, I want to share with you some truths. Here are some things I know to be true. Truth number one is this. People of minority race have a much different experience than those of us of majority race. I know this for a fact, having grown up in a different country, being in that country of minority race. And in fact, I was the victim of racial violence on at least three or four different occasions. The second thing is this, even though we've come a long way as a country, we still have bigotry in our country and we have to acknowledge that. The third truth is this, police officers, that the overwhelming majority of whom are doing a great job are at risk whenever they put on the uniforms. And then the fourth truth is this, the answer is for us to live and to love like Jesus. The solution is for those of us calling ourselves followers of Christ to really live and love as him, empowered by him. When it comes to the issues of race, we not only have the answer, but the Bible is clear, we are to be the answer. So I wanna ask you to pray along with me that our church would be a part of the solution both in our community, in our city, and, and beyond. Next Sunday, after the second service, when I return, right after the second service, I wanna invite as many of you that will join me to a time of prayer. This is the next step of many that we as a church will be taking together regarding this issue, but it is a next step. Uh, I want us next Sunday, as we meet together, to pray for racial healing to pray for our police officers. And if you're a police officer, we wanna pray for you. We also want to pray for our city and to pray that we at the Family Church would be a light shining in the darkness. Now, I know that this can be a politically charged issue. And I just need to humbly say this, we're not meeting to promote any political agenda. We are meeting to seek God's agenda. And that is what I'm calling us to do. Next Sunday at 1230, right after the second service, will you join me?